Uh, good evening. All across Pennsylvania, natural gas companies are rushing to drill new gas wells to extract gas deposits in the Marcellus Shale, which runs beneath most of our state one mile down. While energy companies are excited about this new revenue stream, Pennsylvania's streams and rivers are left with a huge problem, the highly toxic wastewater from the gas drilling process. Marcellus wastewater contains a mix of heavy metals, including arsenic and lead, toxic chemicals such as benzene that can cause cancer, and salts. This wastewater is generally three to six times saltier than seawater and has already changed freshwater streams in Pennsylvania into saltwater environments. Currently, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection, DEP, has been allowing drillers to dump their wastewater with little treatment and sometimes with none at all. However, the DEP has proposed new standards for Marcellus wastewater, which would finally require real wastewater treatment prior to any discharges into our drinking water supply. The oil and gas industry, the coal companies, big manufacturing, and the Pennsylvania Chamber of Commerce have been working hard to maintain the status quo. The status quo for oil and gas is this. Frack water released to streams and rivers untreated. Believe it or not, that is what industry representatives have been arguing for in Harrisburg. Part of my work with Clean Water Action, I've attended meetings in Harrisburg where industry representatives have lobbied John Hines, the top water official for DEP. They've been ganging up on John Hines and his boss, DEP Secretary John Hanger. At the last meeting I attended in Harrisburg, John Hines indicated that the final regulations crafted for wastewater may not be the strong ones that DEP started with. DEP may be starting to crack, but we cannot let them crack. We have some absolute principles that need to be honored. Our rivers and our communities should not be held hostage to Marcella Shale industry greed and neglect. We need to take our stand for clean and safe water and rivers for our families. Special interests should not and must not carry the day. The leadership of the oil and gas work group of the statewide campaign for clean water, a coalition of over 140 groups, has put together the following principles that we think need to be followed by DEP and the Environmental Quality Board as they consider the regulations that will determine how frack wastewater and other examples of TDS are handled. Our Clean Water Act Agenda for Action is, we need safe drinking water. DEP's proposal will go a long way towards ensuring that our drinking water supplies will not have unsafe levels of total di dissolved solids. DEP should not weaken their proposed discharge standards for TDS. Two, we need these regulations to be in place as soon as possible to protect our rivers and drinking water. DEP should stop giving out more drilling permits until wastewater rules are in place. DEP should also stop allowing existing or proposed wastewater plants to pollute our rivers unless they follow these new rules. Number three, DEP should add discharge standards for these contaminants that are frequently found in Marcellus Shale gas drilling wastewater. These would include bromides, arsenic, benzene, radium, magnesium, and possibly others. Many of these contaminants are very difficult for drinking water systems, uh, drinking water systems to remove. Number four, DEP needs to ensure that all aspects of the, uh, uh, of the generation of Marcellus wastewater are regulated. Currently, there are no requirements to track wastewater from drilling sites to treatment plants. And there's no oversight over the reuse 
of Marcellus Wastewater. The Campaign for Clean Water has filed technical comments with the EQB, but while we think that's important, we do not think that this battle will be won or lost on technical issues. This is a fight over broad priorities. Will the oil and gas industry profits prevail, or will our rivers' uh, water actually be valued? Or are profits the ultimate value in Pennsylvania? Ultimately, the powers that be will assess how the political winds are blowing. Each of us attending and those testifying here today need to be talking about what is really at stake and at risk in Pennsylvania with Marcella Shale. It is not a narrow set of issues about regulations. Rather, it is about what we as Pennsylvanians will ultimately value, our families and our rivers or fleeting profits. Thank you very much.